Hello, dear lovely student. This is me again. So we have a new subject today. It's uh, section six in chapter four. It is probability, page 158. So probability, we have, let's say, seen the, this definition before in grade A and seven. Probability is an event that's, let's say, it's a number from zero, from zero, zero to one. So the probability cannot be negative less than zero or, and also cannot be greater than one. So it is between zero and one. Or you can say it is zero percent and hundred percent. It is, let's say it's one person, two person, or the 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 75, and 0 0.99. When, let's say one or 100 percent, Anyway, so probability is between 0 and 1. And also we have some definitions. It's, um, it's not important, but you have to know it. It says, experiment is an activity in which results are observed, and each observation is called trial. And each trial results called outcome. In probability, okay, we call results outcome. So whenever we talk about outcome, it means we results okay outcome means results then we have sample space sample space is the set of all possible outcomes that we have in an experiment but for sample space each experiment has different sample spaces you cannot say there's only one sample space for all experiments each experiment has different sample spaces then we are going to explain the each sample spaces so, there's a quick note here. Just remember that what you want to say, when we say at least means the number and more. When you say at most means the number and less. Just try to note and we will use it in the other examples. Then, about the sample spaces, this is very important. You have to know the sample space of the experiments. Let's say we have a dice, or sometimes we call it cubic number. It has six faces, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Dice has six faces. That's why the sample space of dice is going to be one, two, three, four, five and six. So it's going to be one until six. This is the sample space of a die, so you can fair cubed number. What if you have a coin? Okay, you know that coin has two faces. Okay, head or tail. Head or tail. Sometimes maybe have a spinner like that spinner. The sample space of that spinner, if there is no number, we have colors. We have red, we have blue, and also we have green. Or sometimes we have spinners with numbers. For example, let's say we have that spinner. We, one, two, three, four, five, five. So what is the sample space of that spinner? It is one, two, three, four, five, and five. You have two times five, five repeat two times. So this is called sample space. So in sample space, I told you it's all possible, all. Not one of, let's say one of them or some of them or half of them, all of them, all possible outcomes. So this is about sample space. Then, we have another important topic. It is complement of an event. So complement is all outcomes that are not that are not in the event. When you have an event, this is let's say the event. Then for find the complement, we are going to find all the results that are not in the event. For example, let's say we have a coin. Okay, you know that the sample space of a coin is head and tail. Okay, then in an event, 
in an event, let's say the event is head. Okay, this is the event. What is the complement of the event? Because we have head. If we not head, it means tail. Or let's say you have a dice. The sample space of dice, let's say S, is equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I'm going to say the P of even number. The probability of even number. Even numbers are, let's say, 1, 2, sorry. The even numbers are 2, 4, 6. Okay? Then P complement, or let's say P not even. Okay, here, 2, 4, 6. Take out 2, 4, and 6. Then what is left? 1, 3, 6. So P not even, it is 1, 3, uh, 5, sorry. 1, 3, 5. It means odd number. Even if you look at this graph, it's quite clear. Let's say the event A is 5 and 6. Then what is the P complement? It is 1, 2, 3, 4. So for the P complement, it's all the outcomes that are not in the event. Okay. Then example 1 says give the probability of, let's say, for each outcome. Then A. It says the weather forecaster shows 30% chance of snow. Okay, 30 percent chance of snow then it means p of snow is 30 percent 30 percent you can say 0.30 or you can say 0.3 both of them are correct they are equal this is as a decimal as a fraction it's going to be 3 over 10 3 over 10. Even if you write 30 over 100, you will get 3 over 10 as well. Then, this is the P of the even. What is the P of not snow? Okay, the P of snow is 30%. P of not snow. Or let's say not snowing. Because P of snow is 30%, what is the complement? It must be 70%. Okay, then it's going to be 0.7 at the 7 over 10. Again, give the probability for each outcome. If you look at the graph, we have a spinner. It consists of three colors. We have yellow, blue, and also we have red. If you want to find P of red, P of red, it is 1 and 2. Two parts are red. Then, how many parts do we have in all? One, two, three, four. So, the total is four. Simplify it. One over two. The P of blue, one part is blue, so it's going to be one over four. It's going to be one over four. Again, P of yellow, because one part is yellow, the total is four. So it is 1 over 4. And another example says a quiz consists of three multiple choices and two true-false questions. Suppose you guess randomly on every question. This is the score that we have the schedule. We have the score. The scores are... 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For 0, it is 0 0.105. For 1, it is 3.16. For 2, it's 0 0.352. Uh, For 3, it is 0 0.180. For 4, it is 0 0.043. And for 5, it's 0 0.04. Then, what is the question? Or what are the questions? It says, what is the probability of guessing four or more? 
four or more so it means four or five then we are going to this is the the p of four or more this is four p of four 0.043 so 0.043 or plus then you have five more five it is 0 0.04 0.04 0 .04. then it's going to be 0 0.047 then it's going to be 4.7 percent B, what is the probability of guessing fewer than three? Fewer, it means less. Fewer means less than three. So what are the numbers or the scores that are less than three? We have two, one, and also we have zero. So the P of two, it is, it starts from zero. For the zero, it is 0 0.105. For one, it is 0.316. Plus, for the two, it is 0 0.352. We add them up all together, they will get 0 0.773. Uh, it means 77.3%. And the last question, it says, what is the probability of failing the quiz? Okay, 0, 1, 2, or 3, correct by guessing. So we are going to uh, write the probability of 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. We add them up all together, then we'll get 0 0.953, or you can say 95.3%. So finally, we have some not many questions. It says the local weather forecaster said that there is a 75% chance of raining. What is P not rain? P not rain, it means P complement. Be careful. P not rain, it means P complement. It means if you have 75, the P complement, it must be 25 okay 75 percent is of chance of rain what is the chance of not rain it is 25 25 percent means 0.25 so the correct answer is 0.25 again in this subject sometimes students are going to make a mistake and they say 25 is the correct answer. Be careful. 25 is not the correct answer because we said that probability is a number between 1 and 0. You can say 0 and 1, but 25 is much greater than 0 and 1. That's why 25 is not the correct answer. If it is 25 percent correct, but 25 only, it's not correct. That's why we have to choose 0.25. Again, the same question, local weather forecasters said that there's a chance of rain is 40% what is P not rain again it is uh, for, for the 40% it is 60% the complement the probability of winning Howler Club is 80% what is the probability of losing okay it's the opposite it means complement then not winning we have 80% the complement is 20% it means 0.2. So A is the correct answer. I told you, if you remember, 0.2 or 0.20, they are equal. They are equal. Then question four, it says, what event does the P of zero shows? It means, what does P of zero mean? It means certain, impossible, more than 15, or less than 50. So the Answer is means impossible. Zero percent means impossible. Question five again. The P of rain is 30. What is P not rain? It is 70 percent. 
that means 0 0.7, so the correct answer is A. And final question, it says five students are training for a school theater, uh, theatrical, Hadi has 0 0.30 chance of playing the role and each of Leila and Hiwa have half of Hadith's chance. Each of them have half of Hadith's chance to play the role. What is the, uh, what's the chance of Hiwa to play, to play what? To play the role. So it says half of it, it means half of it, it means, so 0 0.15 because it has 30%. It says each of them have half. So half of, of 0 0.30, it is 0 0.15. So dear students, this is the end of our the subject. I hope you get benefit from you. Inshallah, you will doing great. Thank you so much.